Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are exploring one of Indonesia's worst serial killers, Bayakuni. Bayakuni was born in 1961 on a farm in Magelang in central Java. Identifying as gay, he was bullied at school and eventually dropped out and left for the capital Jakarta, living as a homeless boy on Lapangang, Banteng. One day, he was forcibly raped by a man, which led him to develop an interest in paedophilia and necrophilia. As a result, at the age of 32 in 1993, he began raping children in the area of East Jakarta. By 1995, he started murdering boys, all of whom were aged between 6 and 12. A majority of his victims were homeless and not known to Bayakuni. Bayakuni was able to continue his murder spree, undetected for 17 years. In 2009, he met a boy named Ardiancia and became acquainted with Ardiancia's mother, which turned out to be a deadly mistake. Ardiancia began spending more time at Bayakuni's house in East Jakarta. In January 2010, Ardiancia went missing, and his mother immediately suspected Bayakuni. On the 8th of January 2010, the mutilated and headless corpse of Ardiancia was found near the East Flood Canal Bridge in Kagung. On the 9th of January, Bayakuni was arrested with Ardiancia's head found on the 10th of January 2010. What led to his arrest was breaking his modus operandi, as all of his other victims were unknown to Bayakuni, whereas he was close with Ardiancia. By this stage, Bayakuni had murdered 14 boys and mutilated four of these boys. Despite confessing to 14 murders, police could only link him to the death of four boys. Ardiancia, a boy named Adi who was murdered in January 2010, a boy named Rio who was murdered in April 2010 and found in Bekasi Trade Center in East Bekasi in Bekasi City, and a boy named Agiv who was murdered in July 2007 and found near Klender Market in East Jakarta. On the 6th of October 2010, he was sentenced to life imprisonment in East Jakarta District Court. He appealed to the Jakarta High Court, which increased his sentence to death. His lawyers then appealed to the Supreme Court of the Republic of Indonesia, the highest court in Indonesia, which upheld his sentence with the court rejecting his appeal. He remains on death row in Jakarta. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.